Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 48. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we are going to be taking this AC Shelby Cobra, and we're going to be taking part in a factory spec race which means we're not allowed to upgrade this which fucking sucks shelby cobra challenge 65 woohoo <laughs> gonna be starting off with sunset peninsula infield moving on to road atlanta maple valley and finishing off with laguna seca let's get going all right here we go race numero i've lost count Number one. <laughs> How have I lost count at one? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's one of those fucking days, isn't it? See, everyone always starts counting at one. So you shouldn't lose count <laughs> from number one. <laughs> Yeah, race race number one, but attempt number two. Ouch. The poor simp boss. Twenty one thousand health points. Unbelievable. I can't believe Fallen is still going strong. I'm going to, um, once we finish Motorsport 2, I'm spending a couple of weeks improving the stream. So the time that I would spend editing will be replaced with, like, stream improvements and stuff like that. Ready for the next Forza game. Because once I then start Forza up again for Forza Motorsport 3, I won't have a lot of time to edit stuff. i got a plan for something in the future. You've got structure. You're gonna believe ya. You've got structure. You're gonna believe ya. Not bad. Holy crap. Yeah, Fallen is pretty immortal. Um, but yeah, wanna, I've got a couple of things planned for, like, once we start Motorsport 3. The, the period in between, there's going to be a couple of changes. Um, but one of them is to do with sub-challenges. So for every, like, five subs, we're going to do something. Um, and that'll be a more permanent thing that I've got planned. Because um, obviously at the moment, I just do... If I get five subs, take a shot or something like that. Um, so I'm going to think of something more permanent that I can do for a long-term basis, which should hopefully um, incentivize subscriptions. Because, again, at the end of the day, like, I'm not in it for the money, obviously. Not yet. But it would be nice to get to a point where I could call this a job. Um, because then I don't have to worry. So, obviously I'm going to put the framework in for these things to hopefully 
get us a little closer to that goal. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else there is to say to that. Um, oh, the other thing that I have planned is a... So, we've got an attack. We've got a critical hit. Um, and then I'm thinking... Beyond critical... Um, there's normally, like... If you think something like... Uh, what's it called? Yakuza. You've got, like, heat mode. Where you can absolutely destroy someone's ass. Um, headshot. Could be. That's implying, though, that we're using firearms. And stuff like that. And... Most of the comments that I make is about punching the simp boss, so... I think something to do with, like... I don't know. A finisher? No, because it's not killing him off, is it? Could do that. Beast mode. Uh, Doom has like berserk mode. Uh, yeah. I think of some ideas and put them forth in a poll one day. This thing's bloody unstable. It's so difficult to drive this. blue pills. What the fuck? Whoa! Didn't take that very well. ba na 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 Work it. Make it. Do it. Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Oh, the rear of the car is very happy. Do da, do da. The rear of the car is very happy. Slip and slide away. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods, I think. I think I'm always in that mood now. I think it's just a constant mood. What's a constant mood? Class as. I don't know. No, it's the opposite, actually. It's extremely difficult to, like, control a drift. But it's so easy to just lose control of the back of the car. Like, you look, I'm trying to drift that. And I'm struggling to hold it. But you see how it snaps? Like, that time, the car just snapped and it cut the corner because it lost the grip and then just all of a sudden had so much grip. I can't better have Bridgestone wheels or you can say goodbye to degradation. <laughs> yeah, most of the weight is at the front. It's probably why it's so unstable. Because obviously mid-engines just seem a little more planted. Oh yeah, wasn't that back, uh, wasn't 2005 when they had two manufacturers, right? They had Bridgestone and Michelin, didn't they? And then Michelin pulled out in 2006, I believe. And then we ended up with Bridgestone for three more years. And then in 2010, I think they went to Pirelli. 
And since 2010, the tires have been shit. I think Pirelli does the tires for um, WRC as well. Which is kind of strange, because you think they're a tire manufacturer, but they're... They focus on, like, the ultra-fast on-road and then off-road as well. Like... Enjoying crap out of the need for speed heat so far. Don't worry, got... Don't get where it got half of the hate. Well, first of all, I'm glad you're enjoying it, because... At least it went to someone that actually enjoys the game so <laughs> and uh second of all i'll agree with you the game is amazing the only thing is the story is non-existent there's barely any story to it um and once you finish the game there isn't much to do after that um other than mod the game so you know right here we go race number two road atlanta I weevil and I wobble and I might slip up. Ah! Get out of the way. Fair enough, Death Ray. Yeah, I've sort of given up on Forza Motorsport 7. There's just no point in playing it. It's just... The online is dead. And I'm not really going to play it till we have to for this series, so... I'm just... I've basically retired that game, so. But I'm really enjoying WRC at the moment, so that's sort of my go-to game at the moment. I've got nearly 55 hours in WRC 10, which is more hours than I have in Forza Horizon 5. And Forza Horizon 5 is my second most played game on Steam. <laughs> Yeah. Forza, I've got a love-hate relationship as well. Forza itself, I love because of Motorsport 3 and 4. And I love the series because of Horizon 2 and 3 as well. So that's why I want to do this. To go and... Um, like, properly play the game. Um... And yeah, I enjoy... I enjoy the Forza games. It's just every single one has its bugbear, except for Motorsport 4. I am yet to find a bugbear that I can straight up just say, that's shit. That's strange. Yeah. I'm going to be buying uh, Horizon 4 again, but on Steam, just so that I can um, play through it on PC, because my um, PC copy is fucked. What I'm going to have to do, though, is factory reset my PC. At some point. Which means I've got to uninstall every single game off of my Steam. Because then I'm going to have to reinstall them. Solo gameplay. What do you mean solo gameplay? 
Oh, you're talking to death, right? Uh, also, yeah. If you're on about figured it out, you even committed for the livery editor. Are you on about WRC 10, Hans? Fucking hell. It was unstable as hell through there. Bro, your fist. Ah, yeah. So, um, yeah, WRC 10 is just such a smooth... So, obviously, on console, unless you've got a next-gen system, it's gonna run at 30 frames a second. Which... I don't think the game is worth it when it's running at 30 frames. It's a really clunky mess. WRC 8 is unplayable on console, in my opinion. Just because of that fact. Because even if you've got a next-gen system, WRC 8 is only a last-gen game, so it never got a PS5 patch or anything like that. WRC 9 and 10 are perfectly playable on console. Because they run... They definitely run at 60 frames, but there's also a 120 hertz option as well. Um, and obviously on PC, I run WRC 10 at 120 hertz. If you can do it, why wouldn't you? It just makes it so much smoother. But um, I've been thoroughly enjoying actually like rallying in that game. Um, to, even to the point that I wanted to... Jesus Christ. I didn't want to do Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> please don't clip that. That's going to be so bad out of context. <laughs> uh, someone's going to clip it anyways. Oh, well. Um, but yeah. I um, completely enjoyed the experience of just, like, WRC to the point I was like, I'm gonna proper like, realistically do this, so I went realistic rally length for my first WRC season I went for the short ones for the seasons before like, WRC 2 and 3 because I wanted to get out of that as quick as possible but uh, when I got on to season 3 which was my first WRC one. I was like, fuck it, we're going realistic for this one. Uh, won that. And then bought my own team, which is the season that I'm on now. Thoroughly enjoying, like, having control of painting my own cars and stuff like that. It's just awesome. And it's satisfying as well. Yo, Epic, Aaron, what is up? Welcome. How are you today? Aaron is officially the third person to join the stream today, and Epic is the fourth. <laughs> that is depressing to say that that's true. <laughs> Even I don't know, Aaron. It's been so quiet today, it's unreal. But at least it's picking up a bit. Jesus Christ, driving this car is horrendous around this track. I will admit, though, WRC10's livery editor is so much better than Forza's. Because Forza... The thing I found with Forza was when you move the camera around, you didn't have much freedom when it came to moving the camera. Um, I haven't tried the, uh, Horizon 5, so I can't really say, but I did use Horizon 4, and it was horrendous. Um, oh, I'm gonna say it, because it is better. <laughs> I, I recommend it. Just, uh, if you are getting it, have a look in, um my about panel for that end of a website because it is much cheaper there it is honestly so much better because it, it gives you the freedom to actually like lock perspectives and stuff like that so because Forza it's just like wherever your camera's pointing is sort of where it projects the sticker onto which I mean is fair enough and it's a little easier when it comes to actually moving 
and selecting where you want the sticker to be positioned exactly. But when it comes to actually, like, you know, being able to look at how that sticker looks on the car, uh, you can't actually do that. Because you move the camera in Horizon 5 and the sticker looks different. It's going to. The only problem with WRC 10 only gives you 500 stickers for the car. Oh, and it even lets you do custom stuff for all the other cars, like the legendary cars as well. I forgot about that. Woo! Okay, we did it. Resolve. Let's go to the next one. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. By the way, for anyone watching on Twitch, feel free to sub to the YouTube. Q Aaron. <laughs> uh, feel free to sub to the YouTube where we upload all of these videos. Because uh, these streams actually don't get kept on Twitch. They go straight, get edited, ready for YouTube videos. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube and you want to watch these live when they happen... Check the description down below. And uh, you'll see the Twitch link. As well as my Instagram and all those other socials. Go give them some love and some support. We're also trying to hit 1,000 followers on Twitch by the end of August. Which would be awesome to hit that goal. Uh, oh, actually, I should probably uh, check what Forza says that our completion is. Because my spreadsheet says 72%, but I know Forza will probably show a different number. Flipping heck. Can you do a link tree? I probably should do a link tree, actually, because I do have a lot of links. That's actually a good idea, Aaron. Because then I can put that link tree on all of my st socials. Because Instagram and that only takes one link. So, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'd probably end up making it because some of them you have to actually link accounts to it. Um, for them to sort of be integrated because they have like Linktree has like certain integrations for it or like Linktree alternatives that have integrations I'll probably set up tonight I'm going skirt skirt round the corners. Fuck.
Okay, skirt, skirt. I got ice for wheels. Man, ice is an understatement. I think ice would be more grippy than this shit. I've driven cars in WRC that on ice and they're more stable than this. Oh, by the way, uh, this Sunday is another WRC stream, but it's actually going to be my first proper WRC stream with wheel because every single one I've done with controller. Uh, a very kind gentleman who I cannot remember their username uh, gave me some advice on how to get better on wheel on WRC. I followed the advice, and it was it was the most basic advice ever. But by God, am I better on wheel than I ever was on controller? And controller, I was fucking quick. So. Okay, Epic, we'll go back to saying it's ice on wheels. It's got ice for wheels. Because saying unnamed frictionless substance. Yeah, that's that, that sounds a lot worse. We got lube for wheels. <laughs> My wheels are made of lube. Hover wheels. Agreed. Time to hover around this place. Hovering around this place. Gonna hover around now. Bad idea. Okay, I think we got away with that. Well, because it's part of this race. Like, this is the joy of Forza. This is not all about... Wow. The joy of older Forzas, like Forza Motorsport 4 and earlier, is you would drive all sorts of cars. It wouldn't just be about having the fastest car. I know Forza Horizon, I think Horizon 1 as well, sort of still stuck with that formula, but once Horizon 2 and 3 and that came along, basically Forza just became a pick a really fucking fast car, use it game, which is kind of a shame, because this game has so much potential. Officially speaking, Forza Motorsport 2 still is resting at 69 viewers on Twitch. We've got 6, and uh, Dustin Eden has 63. So, 63 plus 6 is... 69! Which I think is pretty funny. <laughs> Great. Much better. If I lost control of the car that time, it would have been game over and I'd have to do this race again. And then I would have cried. And <laughs> hit 420 retry. 420 blazing. <laughs>
Not bad. Just about holding this thing together. Just. Oh, there's a bug. Flying in my face. It's a moth. It's a moth. And I really don't like it because I don't like flying insects. Ah! Uh, what's the most amount of viewers I've had on a stream? Uh, at one time? 54. But that was 54. And then it dropped down to like 27 after a raid. And then it was back down to like 12 within 5 minutes. So, they didn't stay. Um... I think the most amount I've seen recently, like this year, because I can't remember years before, uh, is 26 during a cruise stream that we had. We had 26 viewers, and then it dropped back down to about 16, but we were stable at 16 for a majority of that stream, which was insane. Uh, I needed a photograph of this car. I'll get it on the next one. All right. It is time to drive the Shelby round Laguna Seca and this is gonna be hell this is gonna be hell okay I definitely floored it at the wrong time around that corner but luckily I lifted my foot very quickly or finger Not too bad. I have an unhealthy hatred for this track. Laguna Seca can go suck one. Anyone who thinks that Laguna Seca is a good track needs to be put in a mental hospital. It's just a fact. It's a horrible track. Like, by all means, you can be like, meh, meh, or like, no, it's bad. But if you genuinely think that this is like a good example of what a good racetrack looks like, you're insane. I'm trying to drive this, something that is as unstable as... I don't know. I genuinely was trying to think of like a metaphor or something to describe that and I just couldn't think of one. I've been deep 
in the river. Fuck. Unstable as a drunk person, unstable as Russian currency. Uh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. This car is unstable as the Russian currency. I can't remember what it's called. We got five people watching now. This is so much better. So much easier to stream when there's people in the chat to conversate with. <laughs> conversate, that's a interesting word. That I very rarely use. <laughs> yep. See, it became Russian currency again. This race is genuinely going to take about 12 minutes as well. Maybe 11 minutes. We reach the end. Just about holding the damn thing together. Looking good. What? Sort of. <laughs> the other car's right behind. Yeah, so? Yeah, uh, me no Betty buys. <laughs> No, I don't. I go to sleep at about 2 a.m. every day. It's just I head off a bit earlier. 
so I can get ready to sleep at 2am. You know. Genius, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Save that one. I'm gonna have fun editing the first video of this stream, episode 45, because that, the audio is too loud. So I gotta turn it down and do audio fixes and shit. It's a pain in my behind. That's what she said. Right, one more lap. This is the final lap coming up. I don't know why my brain just instantly assumed this was the last lap. Turns out it's not. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Whew. That was the worst time for us to go wide like that. I don't think there's ever a good time for us to go wide like that, but... Close. Wow, well, my hands is unreal. Let's get this thumbnail. All right, here we go. Let's have a look, see what rewards we got. We got Shelby Series 1 and 48 grand. I think I know what this is. This is a really... Ugly looking one. Yep, of course. Such a weird car. And why is a fuel filler cap there? Slap bang in the middle. Ugh. Horrible car. Horrible car. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.